forgotten. Yep. We've reached this point, the nightmare fuel episode that was always going to boggle my mind whenever I got to it. So let's do it, where as per all nightmare fuel episodes, there will be major spoilers ahead. We are heading back to 1989 as I tackle a truly disturbing piece of cinema, if you can call it that. Super low quality black and white makes this entire affair feel like a lost silent horror from the 20s, and the complete lack of dialogue supports this, while the soundtrack is an ambient natural piece, the antithesis of the film itself. What exactly the film is about is not made explicit within the film itself. This is as arthouse you can go with arthouse horror. Strap yourselves in. Begotten is unfathomable, an amalgamation of nightmarish imagery and body horror, like a fever dream brought to life. But what's the premise of the butchery and chaos here? The film begins with this leather-faced looking thing convulsing in a chair, which proceeds to... Yeah, the details are quite gritty, and I'm not going to be able to show much of them, but yeah, it disembowels itself with a straight razor. Yeah, if you're expecting me to show that on screen, I do apologise. Otherwise, the guideline squad would probably disembowel me as well. You have no idea the eggshells I've had to walk on to bring this video to life. Surely that's worth a subscribe! Huh? <laughs> uh, worth a shot. Anyway, the credits to the film let us know that Budget Leatherface is actually intended to be God, killing itself in order to create Mother Earth, another mysterious figure who grows from the organic matter sliced from God's body. How's that for a nice, pleasant introduction to this world? It's all just weird squelches and barely visible fleshy bits plopping around the place, and it lasts an unholy amount of time. But oh boy, if you think that's a lovely way to kick it off, prepare your soul. So Mother Earth, the organ woman, right, she decides to impregnate herself with the semen of God's corpse. I swear to you now, that's a grindcore band name if ever I heard it. Ready for the next stage? Alrighty then, the now pregnant Mother Earth winds up having a funeral for the dead god, and then goes wandering for a bit before she gives birth to whatever this thing is. Apparently it's the son of Earth, who also convulses just like his daddy the G.O.D., but is abandoned by his mother and ends up having to fend for himself. So right, let's take a step to the side to try and analyse this. So, Start with God. God sacrifices himself to bring life to the earth. Then the earth takes advantage of God to create another life. How do I read into that? Well... Nah, I'm still a bit lost, sorry. I get the impression it's a cycle of life, of sacrifice, birth, death, rebirth. Maybe there's something in that. I get the impression that it's reflecting the barbaric cruelty to the world, but any chance while watching the film I tried to tie some threads together, I just became totally thrown off by the ghastly visuals and ideas being planted in my head. Begotten verges on being unwatchable, tough to digest, and that speaks volumes to me on just how off-kilter it is. It's abnormal, a journey through morbid landscapes bringing the occult to life on a visually unearthly canvas. And it's that morbidness which carries on for the entire thing, as even the Son of Earth has some nightmares to face. He eventually encounters some odd kind of golem looking things, or maybe a bit like the cave creatures from the Descent I suppose. Pause, and they all jump the Son of Earth and use his umbilical cord to capture him, where he then vomits up his organs. Lovely. All the weird critters buzz off that for a bit, almost like they find the organs to be, like, presents, gifts, I suppose. But then they swerve on him. Dissension. He gets dumped into a fire pit where he burns to death. Just magical. The words I'm using in the writing of this script, like, I'm reciting them now. It really is making me scratch my head what I'm doing with my life. Thankfully, Mother Earth has a good grasp on life, as she resurrects her son, and they wander about the barren landscape together at last. Wouldn't it just be, like, really nice if they could spend some quality mother and son time together? You know, just a bit of happiness for a change? <laughs> nah, that'd just be silly. How's about instead the creatures come back, assault the mother and son, and then forcefully abuse and murder the mother? 
Is that not the most splendid day out? A son seeing his mother mutilated? What a perfect feast for the eyes this is. Every taboo word and activity in the book, literally the worst things you could do to a living being, they're all on display here if you can make it out and comprehend it. But do you want to see where this brutality finally heads? <laughs> of course you do! Mother Earth is now dead and her remains are carried away by a group of robed figures, but then what happens to the son of Earth? Those very same robed figures return, murder and disembowel the son. I, I think there's a theme here. They put pieces of the son and the mother into jars and then bury them in the ground until over time they grow into beautiful flowers. The meaning here? You've got to go through horrible stuff to end up in a good place? I don't know, man. There's symbolic and metaphorical and then there's begotten. But is it nightmare fuel? It absolutely is to me. It's not a scary film by any means, it's just not something I ever want to go out my way to ever watch again. If you want to break this down into film terms, then the pacing and the plot are shockingly bad, yet the sights I saw in this film will haunt me for quite some time. It's just so vicious and grim. I can't fathom how many times I've referred to disemboweling in this script. Begotten is a clustered mess of terrible sights, one of cinema's bastard children. All of the credited cast in the film only ever did this film. That's it, one and done. I'm not surprised that they never worked again, and it was very likely down to not having a desire to be in front of a camera again, or else the PTSD would set in. I very much understand and appreciate the film is intended to be ambiguous, with its creator, E. Elias Merhage, citing death, rebirth, religion, mythology and the occult being at the forefront of his ideas that he wove into the film. It's a dark, horrific vision of creation mythology and borrows from Christianity as well as Slavic and Celtic myths too. Many mainstream reviewers and critics don't even want to bother giving this film any time, but hey, I'm not mainstream, so I'm at least glad I bit that bullet for you guys. You're welcome. A rotten film on all accounts, but certainly containing enough to validate its place on our Nightmare Fuel Hall of Fame. Begotten remains one of horror's strangest oddities. Well, there you go. I did it. There's my sacrifice for Unleash the Ghouls, which probably means death is right around the corner, and I better enjoy my bowels while I can. So, while I'm still here, I hope you enjoyed this video and stick around to check out some other stuff we've got on the channel. You can slap the little bell down below to be notified of any new content. Wherever we next meet, I'm Connor from Unleash the Ghouls, and we shall see you next time for another dose of Nightmare Fuel.